Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly speed up the rendering of Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, this is a simple tip. It's easy to do. After you've done all your editing, after you've moved all your clips around, and you've added your effects, and you've put in your audio, and you've got everything just right, go up to Project, and choose Save As, and Save the Project. Now, when I say projects, I almost always choose copy media with project. That way, it'll copy all the media files that I'm using with this project into the folder that I have so that if I later on want to come in and edit or if I want to make changes, all the media that I've used is in that one folder. So I click Save. And in the message where it says copy source media, I always choose the full source media. I don't want to trim copies because if I choose trim copies, then if I need to extend the clip, I won't have the portions that I need. And I click OK and it's saved. Now if I do a render now, project render as, and choose the render, it's going to take longer. In fact, it could take anywhere from five to ten times longer to render it right now. To avoid that, what I want to do is click cancel, and now that I've saved the project, I want to close Sony Vegas Movie Studio. When I close it, what happens is Sony Vegas Movie Studio releases all the RAM that had stored all the edits and undos from your editing project. Now when I start up Sony Vegas Movie Studio, it'll reload the project I've just worked on. And if it doesn't reload the project, you can always go up to Project. And from your project list, you can choose a project you were just working on. And once the project is fully loaded, don't make any changes. At this point, you'll want to render. Choose Project, Render As. And if you're rendering this for YouTube, you probably want to render as a main concept AVC AAC and use the Internet HD 720p. If you have a CUDA enabled video card, use that. And then click Render. And you'll see here the render is going a lot faster than it would before. To render this project, which is about four minutes long, it's going to take less than four minutes. You can see right here where it shows. Now, had I not closed Movie Studio and restarted it, it could have taken 25 to 30 minutes because the amount of RAM available for rendering would have been a lot less because it would have stored all my edits and undo points. So to speed up rendering in Sony Vegas Movie Studio, all you have to do is save your project after you've made all your edits, close down Sony Vegas Movie Studio, and then restart it, and then without making any changes, render it then. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find a lot more like this at my website, www.bmyers.com, and you can find a lot more tips about Sony Vegas Movie Studio in my one-on-one -on -one tips and tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio DVD, which is available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.